What's up? I'm known as King Deshaun on YouTube. And when I'm not editing and uploading my own videos, you can catch me watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. T.J.V. Yeah, baby. That is so bright. Uh, where'd you come from? That was not there when I started vlogging. Okay, that's new. Well, at least it's there, you know. I'd be more worried if the sun didn't come up in the sky. <coughs> well, good morning, you weird people. Hello. Or maybe I'm the weird one. You're all alone. Good morning, you bunch of normal people. We are in uh, Weyburn, Saskatchewan, and we are going to get as far south as we can today. We've got to get to Madison, Wisconsin tomorrow. Uh, so we're starting early today. I've only got eight hours, eight and a half hours available to me to drive today because of my 70 hours. So we're going to get as far as we can, and tomorrow morning we're going to get up super early and do the rest and deliver this lumber I have on me tomorrow morning. But we're gonna start at like three or four in the morning, so I'll be delivering this mid-morning, like nine or 10 in the morning, hopefully, and then running down to, oh, uh, 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 what's it called, Evansville, Wisconsin, to pick up a little steel there, which I'm taking back home. But I'll be out of hours by the time I pick it up. So I'll go pick it up, and then by the time I'm done, I'll have to sit there, sleep for 10 hours, and then I'll go home. A lot of fun to, 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 a lot of fun to be had. I need to wake myself up here. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I got my coffee. Don't worry. I just have a, and a rubber band, just in case for for luck. Where'd you come from? I really am the weird one, aren't I? All right, let's get going. Lights are on. Brakes are released. Pre-trip has been completed left to do except just put the sunglasses on and give her everything I need here. Coffee, had my breakfast. Okay. I'm gonna go, oh, I gotta put it in gear. That's the thing I forgot. There we go. Put it in gear. That always helps. Alright. Here we go. I'm gonna go around this little mud hole in front of me. And off we go. It's gonna feel like a really short day today. Cause I had eight and a half hours available, but I had to use 15 minutes of that for my pre-trip, right? So I have eight hours and a quarter available. I'll stop for fuel somewhere yet too. Man, I hope I get far enough that I can make it tomorrow. I'm trying to get to like Alexandria at least, like Alexandria, Minnesota. I'd love to get to Clearwater if I could. We're crossing into the U.S. at Portal, North Dakota, from North Portal, Saskatchewan. On our way down from uh, Whitecourt, Alberta. That's where I picked this lumber up. It's gonna be a good day. I'll tell you what, it's gonna make it a good day. Andy, don't interrupt me. That'll make it a bad day. I'm gonna make this a good day. be interesting this guy's coming through here with a wide load that uh, we can't meet if 
He shouldn't be coming through here. Just gonna have to wait here until he pulls into this little area in here. I'm gonna have to go up over here. Should not be here. This is a construction zone that he should. That was ridiculous. No, he should have looked ahead and his permit would not have allow allowed him to come through here. He should have known that. Looks like they're just about done this construction here by Alexandria. And we are just about to pull in here. Is this exit open? I need to exit here. Um, oh, half a mile yet. Meters. Take exit 100 from Minnesota 27 toward Alexandria. That's what I'm telling them. Or whatever your name is, Google. I'll we'll just call her Google. It's different than Mandy. Mandy's a little different. So, uh, we've made it, just barely, but I'm just going to grab some fuel and go to bed. Here it is. Okay, construction exit, goody. Would have went right past it if I didn't have my GPS set for it. There we go. Okay, well, I really need to fuel because I've only got an eighth of a tank left. Meters, turn left onto Minnesota 27 34th West. And then we'll be up tomorrow. Turn left onto Minnesota 27 34th oh, this is GPS West. talks a lot more. I keep forgetting that. A lot more yappy. Uh, we'll fuel up tonight and we'll be on the road again early tomorrow before the sun even comes up. So I've got to go straight to bed, even though uh, it's still afternoon. I've already said goodnight to the wife and everything because she's going out for supper with my sister, I believe. So, her and I talked and I said, I'll be going to bed as soon as I park. Pull the curtains and that'll be that. In 500 meters, turn left onto County Road 45 Southwest. I hope there's parking here. I mean, it's still pretty early. There should be. So there's Pilot right over there, just a little to the left, right in front of us now. Nice lawn. Look at this lawn here. Is that all Pilot Flying J's property? Wow. I wonder what kind of lawnmower they use. You know you're getting older when you're wondering what kind of lawnmower people Turn use. Right Look at that. Evergreen Lane Southwest, then your destination will be on the right. That is a beautiful lawn. Straight lines too. I want to know who they hired. Man. Van just about hit me from behind there. Your destination is Thanks. on the right. Is he not paying attention? I had my signal on. Oh, he's turning too. Oh, he's just in a hurry. Okay. He just about slammed into the back of me there. Okay, looks like there's plenty of parking here still. And I'm getting a little full, but we'll go grab some fuel and uh, find us a nice quiet place to spend the night. It's hard to tell what place, like what spot will be most quiet at this time because you never know who's gonna pull in, right? I think I'm gonna come and park right here beside that truck with the blue tarp. I'm gonna back in right beside him because he doesn't have a reefer and he's, looks like he's in there for the night. So I'm gonna grab fuel and if no one's taking that spot by the time I'm done, that's where we're gonna park. That way I know I won't get backed into or hit. And it should be a quiet night. I'll grab DEF right away too. I usually don't let my fuel go down this far. I really don't like letting it go down. In winter time, this would never happen, but since it's summertime, I mean, took a little bit more of a risk. This way I can fuel up uh, right at the end of my day. It just works a little better for me. All right, here we go. So I got the parking spot I wanted right here beside the blue guy. Diesel, what do you think? Very good, man. Very good. Very, very good. You got it. What's this up here? It's not a toy diesel, it's the mic. It's a microphone, see? That's what you're supposed to speak into. Well, hello, people. Exactly. See? Good boy. So 
So I'm not that tired yet. And it is hot outside, like really hot. You can definitely tell we are further south than we were before. It's really hot, so this is gonna be one of those idling type of evenings at least, because I wouldn't be able to sleep. And if I can't sleep, how am I supposed to drive tomorrow, right? I'm a Canadian, I need an ice box so I can sleep. Otherwise I don't get any sleep. Okay. Oh man. Oh boy. There's my bed. It's a memory foam mattress. What's going on here? Well that doesn't usually happen. Okay, and then I just hang this up here for the night. I use that so that diesel can still lay out on this bed underneath there during the day and then I can vacuum up the hair and the hair and dirt from his paws and his fur don't get on my bed. I have a nice clean bed to sleep on every night. Even though you sleep on the bed anyways, right diesel? But at least then he's on top of my blanket. And then I have control over it. He's not on there all day. If he's dirty, he doesn't come on the bed then. Whereas if I'm driving down the highway and he's got dirty paws, well, usually if I tell him not to, he won't, but he might sneak on there. Whatever, this works good for me. My back needs another adjustment. I had to miss my chiropractor appointment last time we were at home. So this next time, I am not gonna miss it. I got an appointment for uh, Monday, one o'clock. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna have to go back for a few visits because uh, when you're a truck driver, your back goes out of alignment quite a bit, quite easily, because you're constantly sitting all day. And if you have bad posture like I do, uh, it makes it even worse. So it's, it is what it is. Need to get that straightened out and aligned. Let's get these curtains going here so I can get some darkness in here. It's gonna be kind of tough to get up because I gotta get up around like 3 15 in the morning. And uh, I don't like getting up before the sun. It doesn't seem right. But we'll do it. We'll figure it out. We'll get her done. Diesel, you wanna come to bed? Come on, buddy. Come on up. Have a good night, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and find me on BitChute if you want to, if you like that kind of stuff. I'm there as well. The channel's called just TJV, but it's not really established. If you found me on BitChute, go find me on YouTube. That's where the main content channel is. It's called Trucker Josh Vlogs TJV. You'll find it easy. Just Google me, all right? I'm going to bed. As soon as I get this curtain to cooperate with me here. All right. Good night, everybody. Diesel, you gonna take up the whole bed? Hey. Hey, my name is Shay, and I'm from Prince Edward Island, Canada. I'm a commercial lobster fisherman, and you are watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. Hope you get this, bud.